Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is going to be the front. Oh, geez, I keep messing this up. <laughs> Fright, uh, Fright Night head head on head uh, clash of the two movie titles uh, that I was going to have you pick. Uh, and it looks like Harvest of the Dead Halloween Night won with sixty percent of the vote. Very close. Uh, second was uh, the Things We Cannot Change, which is a vampire film. And uh, looks like this week, guys, the slasher film won out over this vampire film. Uh, but I'm going to be following it up next week with Things We Cannot Change. Uh, looking forward to that. But uh, let's get started on the sequel. This is actually a sequel. Uh, last week, I was able to watch the first one on Tubi. Uh, that one was just called Harvest of the Dead. Uh, very two different kind of tone films uh, versus the second one. Uh, this is from Bipco as well. Uh, they just followed me recently on Twitter, so thank you for that, Bipco. It's the day after the events of the first film, and Sally Burns and her friends are preparing for a Halloween party. As Evening of Fun kicks off, unbeknownst to them, the Plague Doctor, which is this gentleman right here, uh, the creatures are preparing to join them. Um, the main character from the first, the villain in this, he also has uh, the doctor in this. He shows up in this one as well. Uh, this clock's in at 72 minutes. Um, and was from 2020. Uh, it's based out of the UK. Um, there's a part in this movie, which I thought was really a neat nod to Night of the Living Dead. Uh, there's a scene in here. Uh, where some a couple uh, a couple are watching TV and we see a shot of Night of the Living Dead, which I thought that was really a cool nod. Uh, but on to the directors for this film. Uh, it's Peter Peter Goddard, Terrence Elliott. Uh, they too were both the writers for this film. It stars Danny Thompson, David Spanks, and Tim Faraday. Um. I don't think was there anything else I got to say. Uh, it, it was, I guess this one was shot in the same locale as the first one. Uh, and its production company was not only Bayview Entertainment, but Devil's Avalanche Films, which is, I guess, the ones that come out with us first. And then, like, uh, I don't know, Vipco and uh, Bayview uh, kind of bought the rights to it or what. But uh, this film was shot... On the budget of a thousand pounds, which is equivalent to thirteen thirteen hundred dollars American uh, dollars, but yeah, this was a a really fun sequel. This if you're if you're gonna look for a sequel to follow up to the first one, I think in a lot of re in a lot of regard, this was actually better than the first one, and in some you know uh, in some uh, like circumstances there was like. A lot better, like it felt like a, a much better story. The first one kind of took a while to build up into what it became. Um, this currently has an official Facebook site as well. I don't know if it's dedicated to both both parts, but um, you can currently catch this on Plex, the streaming service Plex, Tubi, which is where I saw these first two films. Uh, an Amazon Prime. Um, yeah, uh, I, I really like this director's style. I wasn't really expecting an awful lot, just because I've I've never even heard of these two films. Uh, but this this one, obviously, for you know the uh, Halloween night being as part of the, its uh, uh, moniker here, uh, would be better served on Halloween. But you can watch it through you know any time of the year. Uh, won't be disappointed. Uh, some really uh, pretty graphic kills. Uh, uh, kind of the first one kind of has a more of a Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, end to the first one. I'm not going to go into that one too much because I'm going to be reviewing that in the coming weeks. Uh, Peter had mentioned something about sending that one to me, to me the first one. Uh, I asked him if it was available on DVD or Blu-ray and he said... Uh, it's on Blu-ray, and uh, I mentioned where do I buy it, and he just kind of said, well, maybe I'll send it over to you uh, next next time around. I'd like to give you a little, you know, a little bit of a look to this. As you can see, it's very, very graphic. Uh, there's an eyeball scene here. 
But um, well, the two says it has bonus features. Uh, has a director's audio commentary. But um, yeah, you can't go wrong uh, with these couple movies. Uh, be be perfect to add to your collection. But I like to thank Baby Entertainment, uh, Peter as well. Uh, anyone involved in Vipco, and anyone involved in making this possible to send over for a review. Uh, but yeah. Uh, pretty fast-paced film, like I mentioned, uh, under 80 minutes. You can't go wrong, and it's currently playing on, as I mentioned, Plex, Tubi, and Amazon Prime. I recommend Tubi just because it's the easiest, in, you know, the cheapest cheapest way to see this. But uh, that's my review. Uh, next week, I mentioned that this week, or the upcoming week, will be the Things We Cannot Change, The Walking Dead um Crave Blood. Uh, kind of looks like it's going to be a zombie film, but it's actually uh, a vampire film. But uh, that's my review for the, uh, this Thursday. Uh, make sure to like, share, subscribe to the content. Uh, hit the bell for notif notifications when I drop new content. Uh, tell your uh, friends about Gary's Movie Crypt, and uh, we'll, be, we'll be back at this next week. See you next week.